everybody, welcome to Hollow Knight. This is your favorite host, Aaron. This is a long fall. <laughs> Alright guys. So this is the beta for the game from the kickstarted game by Team Cherry called Hollow Knight. I actually just l found out about this game like a week or so ago and I got the beta but I got really busy with y'all know I'm still just coming back into doing YouTube stuff and uh, the beta is pretty well like they're kind of getting it wrapped up and uh, a lot of, a few people have made videos about this and I wanted to put mine in as well and I gotta say I've played through quite a bit of this already because I want to have a feel for it because you guys know how I am with blind playthroughs normally and I kind of wanted to have an idea what I was doing now as you can tell, this is a very dark game. This is, uh... It, 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 as you see, uh, it is a 2D side-scroller. I just have, like, basic sword attacks. Up, down, left, right. I don't have any other, like, special moves yet. You get more of them later. And as you can see, I get these weird shell-looking things underneath my health. I have four of them right now. They're current. They're the currency in this game, and uh, this game has a lot of features similar to a lot of games I've played before. It's got a few things I'd consider to be almost Dark Soul esque. You know, what? I actually I want to show you one of those features real quick. I need to die first though. Come on, come on. There we go. And my head just pops off. And you see that right there at the very end? Right before the screen blacked out, you saw something appear out of what was left of me. Now, those of you who remember, I'm a big fan of the Soul series. And uh, this thing has a mechanic similar to the when you die. You see right there floating? That is my phantom. Everything I had on me when I died, he is holding it. And, well, I need to collect it. But he isn't going to give it to me willingly. No, 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 no. He, he wouldn't have any of that. So I have to kill him, and then I get my stuff back. Didn't seem like much, but uh, later in the game, whenever you got, like, a lot of this currency lying on the ground waiting for you, and as you can see, you can also get it from... I'm not sure what exactly these are supposed to be. It almost seems like it's supposed to be bug shells. But I can get them out of rocks. So, to figure out what you will. Yeah, I, there's... Yep, there is a spike second fall. If I can find a place where I know one's going to fall, I'm going to show something cool that you can do with it. And uh, you can... These are kind of in this early tutorial-like area. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect souls by striking enemies, like any time I hit them I gain a little bit. Once strong enough souls collected, hold B, focus your soul and heal. Uh, let me go collect some more soul. Ah, oh, darn it, there's another one right there. Oh, there we go. Alright. Now, do you see the uh, milky little bar on the top left? That is my soul gauge. That fills up. And I don't know if I can increase the amount that it holds or not. I don't know. This is still beta. But I hold down B and boom. Healed up the damage I took. It's pretty cool, I gotta say. Oh, here's a little side room. This place has got quite a bit of, like, side rooms. It's, uh, it is in, definitely in the Metroidvania, uh, style because there is going to be a lot of ba going back and forth. Oh, 
Well, there's another rock. I do need to remember where one of those are. Like, I didn't spend too much time here in this tutorial area because I kind of wanted to get into it a little bit more. Oh. If you, it's a good thing, like, when you're jumping around like this to keep an eye on the uh, ceiling above you just so you have an idea of uh, how, uh, if something's going to fall on you. Oh, well, there was a... I probably could have used that one to show what I wanted to show. You can actually, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show it. I hit a lag right there for some reason. These, the controls are very sensitive. It takes a little bit of getting used to. One of the things I really like is I can destroy things. This is pretty cool actually. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Big, gooey, slimy thing. Yeah. Break these up and boom. Two fresh, uh, well, health. It gives me, these are temporary health files. If I die or if I rest, they disappear. I found out the resting one on accident and I was kind of sad when I saw them disappear. Oh. Oh, darn it, I forgot about that. I missed out on that. Okay, I'm not even going to try to get that. Holy. Oh, right. Oh, I, okay, I hit a little bit of lag there. All right, I think there's a way to get back up there so I can drop down and get that. I forgot about that being there all during the final game. I'll try to remember. I'm not going to... I actually did just find out that I can do this. Okay, what's this? this yeah, this, com this right here is completely new for me. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Their lands do not hide your true form. Within our lands do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. What the? Oh! Nice! Okay, a little... If you can get there, you can get the... Like, um... I realized I could bounce off uh, those spikes, because later on I found an area where you had to bounce off of those if you wanted to get across this area. And I'm like, can I do that? And it turns out I could. I'm not going to bother with you. Oh, but this will give me another chance. Oh. Oh, forgot about you again. This will give me another chance to try to get the uh, other deposit. Okay, so it refreshed all of the uh, spikes, so... Ah, darn it. I didn't... The controls are very sensitive, and I have a nasty habit of over and under shooting. Yep. See, I just like I, you can smack it out of the air and launch it into other things. You, it can also be used to kill enemies if you can get them to fall onto it, or like l lead them under it, and then you activate it because it activates from your presence, not theirs. Ha <laughs> ha. Sweet. I wasn't able to get this before. I don't think. No, I don't think I was. Yep, and there's those spikes that were falling earlier. You pretty well just have to gun it for that. Break that. Nor oh, you sure got uh, I can't remember if I can make that jump back over there or not. I don't really need to, though, because I was able to get it the other way. Alright. I wasn't reading any of this stuff when I was playing on my own because I wanted to kind of keep it, like, sort of unknown for me. I just wanted to get like the controls and that type of stuff down. <coughs> Higher being, uh, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last of our civilization. Enter the eternal kingdom. Hollow nest. Eerie. Yeah, and uh, the Hollow Nest is guarded by this big door that you have to bust open. 
There we go. As you see, I'm this little... I, I, I just like the little sprite for this game. Your character is kind of cute. But as you can probably guess pretty quickly, a lot of this is almost like a bug world theme. I almost want to think of that old movie, A Bug's Life, in a Dark Souls style world. That's, that is the thoughts I get. It's very dark atmosphere, like, we're gonna realize quickly this place is, that this great kingdom, not so great anymore. Hello, old man. Oh, they're a traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen, uh, fallen quite, you see. The other residents, they're all, well, they disappear. They've all disappeared. Headed down the well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a kingdom beneath our feet. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks down into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you, you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. These days, it, it it's sickly air down there. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such a great thing after all. <laughs> so this is, this guy has obviously been here for a long time, watched everyone slowly leave the village till he's the only one left. And that's really kind of sad. And this is, you can rest at, it'll heal you. Uh, basically marks your location. It's, it's, I have to draw a lot of comparisons to Dark Souls in this just because that is something I have a lot of experience with that have a lot of these mechanics. That is basically like the bonfire. Now I can run past this because that well is where we need to go but I can run past this and there's this whole area over here that doesn't seem to go anywhere. I don't know if it does later. I get it. We'll have to find out because I'm kind of curious. I'm very excited to see where this game goes because I did uh, back it. Their Kickstarter is over, but if you still want to participate, you can uh, go and pre basically pre-order it uh, through their M. Um, you, it, it, I think it should still give you access to the beta if you get the high enough tier. Okay, let's go down. These little screens are so short, I don't even feel like I need to... Uh, do anything okay I want to give a uh, one little hint go left first just for one thing and then you kind of want to backtrack in my opinion this is my opinion but uh, uh you know what no no we're gonna go this way we don't need it yet we don't need that thing that's there yet yeah pretty well everything you need to kill like these other bug guys it's, it's interesting, like, these guys have hollowed out eyes like you only when they're dead. And I'm curious about what the nature of your, uh, this, uh, character is. My, uh, weapon is actually called a nail. It's just it's a little toothpick looking thing. I'm assuming you can get better stuff later because uh, on their Kickstarter page they do show like a blacksmith. Now there's a big area which is kind of creepy looking. Hello. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one but you're but you have a strong look about you. I'm a uh, quarrel. I have something of an aw uh, of an obsession with forgotten and uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. The great stone egg lying on the corpse of an ancient kingdom, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. For so long I've heard tales of this strange ancient kingdom, T 
tales full of wonder and horrors. No longer could I resist, I just had to see it for myself. What a time I chose to arrive, this dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up, the earth is tremble, the earth, and the earth trembles. The air is thick, and I wonder what could have brought all this about. Isn't this building a wonder? Do you think it was built around the egg, or was the egg laid within? Oh, this egg. Is it warm? I swear it seems alive somehow. It certainly gives off a unique air. What do you suspect is inside? A great beast? A fantastic treasure? Or something else entirely? Can it be open? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery. I can't help but notice your, the nail you wield. It looks fine. It looks a fine instrument, though it shows signs of wear. I'd wager up there it would take you far. Down here, however, I suspect you'll soon meet dangers the surface world can't match. To per sir persevere in this place, an old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before you, and most have met their uh, grisly end, many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind for a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened by such things. I just had an instant um, Patches the Hyena vibe from this guy. It might just be the way he said that, but... And if I'm gonna... I just know something. That mask, you can only see half of it. It looks oddly like one of those masks that's on there. I, wa I wonder if it fits. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna get all the dialogue because I do want to save some stuff for the full playthrough. But yeah, this is all that's in this one building. This big egg. Is it a doorway? Is there something inside? Is it the final boss? I can't wait to find out. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna, doing this as a one-off episode to kind of let you all get an idea of this game. Like, there's supposed to be like a lot of power-ups, and I assume I can get like better weapons. Because I fought a couple of the bosses before, and I really wish I had a stronger weapon. <laughs> Like, that was something I realized very quickly. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I have, as you can see, like, up in the top left corner, the liquid is completely filled. Oh! Did you see how close that got? That almost hit him. Yeah, most of this, these guys follow the rule of three. I just like being all smacked those down and hit things. Ha! Ah, let's go in here. Here, here's our first like sort of big enemy. Oh crud! Ow! You have to do a lot of just hit him and then back off. Ow. Jerk. There we go. Ow. There we go. Let's heal up again. Yeah, um, that gauge is all the, uh, let's call it milk. The milk up in the top left corner is basically our mana gauge as well as we use it for healing. Look at this little guy. Ain't he cute? And he's trapped in glass. Did this big guy trap you? Can I bounce off your dead corpse? No, I can't. Ha ha! Hello, friend. Oh. Okay, then. Okay, back to it. Um, if you're playing this, uh, I'm playing it on a game a gamepad. I do re recommend the D-pad for this because of the up, down, left, right. It just, for me, it works better than the stick. But then again, that could just be me. Ah, oh, I just, I really like this game world. Then again, I just really like these dark 
like places anyway. All right, let's see here. You hear that humming? Break things. Let's go this way. Oh, well, I guess we're going down here first. Hello, friend. Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sister, two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. Ah, do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a be be beautiful singing voice. Ha ha ha. So, what are you down here for? If you come to get wealthy, just look around. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. Oh, bury the knights with a, a broken sword. Bury the priest. Something about a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hum it. I think that's all we'll do for him. I, I'm, I'm probably when I'm actually playing this, I'm definitely gonna. I do plan on doing a full let's play of this game. Assuming Team Cherry, the mage of this. As long as they don't have an issue with me doing a full let's play of it, I fully intend to. I mostly want to do this because I wanted to get like a little bit more attention for the game. And couldn't think of a better way than this. Okay, so this is basically kind of like the dead end of this area. There's obviously this right here, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have get an ability later to uh, break this from above. Yeah, like, look, I can shake it, but it won't break. I'm not sure if I need to get an ability for this. Holy cow. That shakes a lot, wow. But um, I'm not sure if I need an ability for this later, or if uh, this is like that other shortcut where I need to come at it from below, and it just makes, like, it's a shortcut. But that's pretty well it for this section. I'm probably going to let this episode run a little over, because I am just going to do one episode of this beta. Ah, I don't know. There's something very satisfying about being able to just break walls and such. Now, enemies do respawn when you re-enter rooms. Not the big guy, though. The big guy, is, he's dead. He's, he's dead as shit. There's the, taking advantage of the upward attack. Like these treasures. Alright, uh, here's something interesting. This looks kind of like an elevator, but. It's actually a shortcut that, uh, you can see the lever right there, so we need to get to it from the other side. Well, we gotta figure out how to get there first now, don't we? That. Shortcut's actually pretty far along. Oh yeah, you do have to be careful. When you hit an enemy, it does knock you back a little bit, so you don't want to be too close to a ledge. Oh, and you can trick idiots like him into charging off into the spikes. That's always funny, making enemies kill themselves. Oh, here comes a jumper again. Oh, well, sorry. Not again. This guy's a jumper. They always, like, curl up like that, too. Like, it almost kind of seems, like, sad that I'm killing them, because, like, they just sort of curl up while they're dead. Like I said, uh... Very much makes me think of souls, because it is dark. Oh, crud, I didn't mean to get both of them. Ow! It's pretty well worthwhile to uh, stay at full health when you can, because you know, because a boss fight can actually sort of sneak up on you. Because there are some boss rooms I didn't realize there were boss rooms until the boss popped out of the ceiling. There are some areas that it's kind of very ominous, and you're like, okay, there's there's something here, but a lot of them really are just kind of surprise. Alright. 
Now there's another little caterpillar friend over here. But as you can see, we can't quite make that jump. Now, I'm not sure if I get a double jump at any point. But right now, I can't get that. So how are we supposed to get him? This little guy right here. Now, this might take me a few tries. Because... <laughs> then again, maybe I finally got good at it. There we go. See? Ha. Huh. One try that time. Yep. Then he just digs away. Now, I, probably before this is over I will show where those guys go oh wait I just remembered sometimes you can bust those open and there are bugs dead inside and, uh, and look at the walls in the background that you can see like shells and uh, what well, looks to be like exoskeletons of things Very creepy, actually. It's like this world really was built on the dead. Okay, real quick, let's uh, go meet the caterpillar friends we made. Ow! Alright. Alright, here we go. See? There's one of them. There's the other one. Watch this. He's rewarding us for our kindness of saving the little ones. And just look at all the holes, like what they're in, all over the background. I've seen one in one of those background ones. We must fill up every one of these holes in this entire room. Jeez, that's a lot of those guys. Like, this game looks to be big. And I like it. Alright. Now we're gonna... Oh, crud. I actually wanted to show... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go talk to a friend. There is no fall damage. <laughs> Which, <laughs> in a game like this, I'm very glad there isn't fall damage because that would get really annoying really fast. Emax on my stuff. Drop down here. And we're going to meet a good, good friend. I like him. He's writing something. Oh. Hmm? Oh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful highways? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for... Uh, <clears throat> I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. Actually, I'm embarrassed to bring this up, but I also make maps as a sort of side business. This one I'm working on isn't quite finished yet, but I'd like you to have a copy anyway. Oh, don't thank me. It's a work in progress, so it's terribly rough. Rest assured, the final product will be a much higher caliber and probably cost money. And now we got the crossroads map. Oh, watch this. I even pull out the little map. Isn't that adorable? All right, first thing I want you to notice, one, that's a big map. Two, there is no marker for where we're at. We have to figure out where we're at based on landmarks around us. Now, you can see at the top is the city that we start at, so we drop down, and we went to the right, and there's the big building. We went over, we went down, and then we went left, and then we came to the big shaft. So as you can see, if you take a left from when you initially drop down, you'll get to this shaft and get to the map right at the beginning. But uh, he has something to say about that. How are you finding my maps? Personally, I prefer to explore without one. You see, you, know, you see so much more of the world when you're not looking at a map. I think he's making a jab at people that use maps. And that's the end of his. Yeah, he's just sort of a quiet guy that draws maps and explores. This is cool because this is actually a secret door that we can open for a shortcut. Didn't know that till I found the other side. <clears throat> no, the other side of it's not even on the map. He's obviously not even been there. But yeah, like so he's basically he's hand drawn 
this whole map, which really harkens back to the old days of games like this, where you had to draw your own maps. And it's just kind of cool that he did it, and this is sort of his rough sketch. And as you, like, as you can see, this is a huge map. Uh, I almost want to try to find a boss. But I don't really know of one that we'd really be able to do. Because I know of where a few of them are, but most of them will beat the snot out of me. Uh, well, we'll keep going. We, we're, I'm going to let this go a little long, so... I don't mind letting it... Oh, yeah. Gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go right. Ah. Yeah, you gotta... It, it, this game definitely uh, rewards exploration. And you have to be careful, like, some walls, you can just hit them and they'll break. Like that one. Oh, here we go. This is a sort of a mini boss. Like this is interesting because this is like a mini boss. Ow! But uh, these become like normal enemies later. heal up real quick you have to be careful about healing because it uses uh, it as you uh, if you pay attention to the healing it does drain your uh, potion and if an enemy hits you before you finish you basically have used up that amount of potion and it's gone oh okay there's that oh there's another one. <laughs> Oops, grab that yeah, you can gain these uh this I can't remember. Uh, like I've seen the name uh, name of the uh, this material only once, so I can't remember what it's called. Uh, if I make it back to where it says, I'll show you. But otherwise, this is interesting. Those look like our face, only giant. And they're like you can see this room on the map. Uh like straight down from the initial town and you can see like all the little faces there Does my cursor pop up no no my mouse my mouse cursor doesn't pop up oh okay so this pool actually will fill our bar our stuff back up yeah and as you can see you can continue to drain it even though when you don't have any. Oh, wow. I didn't realize this was actually just a regenerative pool of this stuff, of a, this soul energy. It's kind of like a hot spring where you just get refreshed. Now eh, we're going to ignore that guy. You know what? I'm gonna head for, uh, yeah, we're close to a boss. That noise. That noise is coming from that object right there, and I have no idea how to get to it right now. Oh, we're a giant uglies. But I do see that we can come back over here. Ow. That noise is really grating on the ears. Like, if I could have one recommendation, lower that down just a little bit. Yeah, we kind of ended up losing that one. Alright, uh, we aren't too far from, like, one of the one of the easiest bosses. He's still kind of tough, but he's easier than some of the others. <laughs> oh, right, there's also this over here. I guess this guy's kind of a boss, too. So, let's squeeze in, like, two bosses into this. Let me look at the map. Mm, it's a little farther away than I thought, but you know what? We'll make it work. 
Aww. We'll just shoot this for about an hour long video. You gotta be careful with this guy's attacks because he is not a friendly camper. Ow! Gosh darn it. And he really just... Holy cow. Go ahead and get fully healed again. Don't have like a run or... I feel like he's gonna. Yep! Oh, wow, okay. And I am glad that it's actually like hitting the enemies that refills that bar and not just you have to kill things. Because that would make it a lot worse. It's like uh, that shriek, like just. It makes us deaf for a minute. Wow, okay, I am... I'm having issues here. Jeez. I don't... I'm not a fan of flying enemies. I'm not a fan of flying boss enemies. And the two bosses we're gonna fight, they're flying boss enemies. Try to get our stuff back so we can heal. Now, um, this is the guy that we kind of saved. We're not going to worry about him. <laughs> Don't worry, I, it, when I get to the actual playthrough, we'll deal with him, but he's kind of just ungrateful and I kind of just want to go. Like, I don't want to spoil everything. Like, if you're one to actually watch me, then feel free to stick around and we'll, uh, whenever the game comes out, I'll play it. I'll be playing, uh, like I said, I do plan on doing like a full playthrough. Oh man, he almost landed on me. This does seem like the type of game you could easily speed run. Which is kind of cool actually. Uh, where am I? I am just about, uh, I just passed it, didn't I? Yeah, I just passed, oh well. There's a shortcut, You uh, there's a shortcut area. Okay, see to the bottom right that, what kind of looks like a little town? There's a room, a square room right above it, on the, connect to the left. That's where we're about to enter. Meet the, I guess, second boss. This guy, re oh crud. He's not a smart fly. Ow! He does hit like a uh, truck though. Ow. Ow! <laughs> okay. Okay. And we woke up back here. I'm gonna get back there, and I'm gonna try that one more time uh, before I call that. Oh. Well, like I said, we'll deal with him later. I didn't realize he came back here. I'm half tempted to talk to him. I don't remember him being here before. Ah, uh, fine. What a squalid little hamlet this is. The air is too thick and the townsfolk have beady eyes. I'll be heading back down and below as soon as possible. Oh, well, he doesn't have anything interesting to say. All right, let's uh, head back in there. Yeah. You know what, uh, you know what I'll just yeah, keep, record I'll keep this going. 
We are... We are going to the... We did... As you saw, we just went to the left this time. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's what I was actually really worried I was going to do. Just drop. Yep, yep. The game's showing me that I shouldn't do that. It's like he's trying to teach me a lesson or something. Alright. Now, here you can go to the left instead. Don't go to the left. Oh, no, it's a different place that's horrifying. You know, we... No, no, we're just, we're going to go back to the boss fight. We're going back to the boss fight. I'd much rather not die. Excuse me, pardon me. Cut, I'm in through hot soup. I don't feel like I need to really worry about too many of the enemies. You can use the uh, bounce attack on these guys uh, if you need to get over them, but hopefully you don't really need to do that. That is one thing I really like. It is very easy to get back where you came from. It is not very difficult at all to just run right back. Oh crud. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Crud. Okay, you know what? I I might need to see about doing something for my health. What? Okay, I shot the wrong. I swung the wrong direction for some reason. Wow, this suddenly got dangerous. I might want to consider going back to the pool of liquid and healing up. Here we go. Uh, I need to go. To the next section. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the pool and heal up. Uh, you know what? I'll just meet you guys back at the boss fight. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we are back. And there's my phantom again. I have to kill him because I the last thing I want is him during the boss fight. <laughs> A lot of these enemies are basically just kind of you need to take pot shots on them because you can't really defend in any way that I know of. Like, they're in the defend button. At least not in this build. Like, I just... Ah. Oh, crud. You have to be very careful with this. Like, it seems like an easy boss, but he can mess you up pretty good. <laughs> oh, crud. Yep. I'm trying to be careful at the same... Ah, darn it. Oh, crud. Well. Okay, so I was not expecting him to go... Okay, bouncing time. Alright, now this is kind of like your prime opportunity to heal. Okay, so... Yes, and I got him, too. This actually took me a few times. By the way, I do recommend healing right after this, because uh, this fight isn't over. As you can see, the gates are still here. This is really messed up. His children, like, explode from his stomach. Gosh darn it. Luckily, they don't, like, automatically target you. They're kind of simple mind. The, the, the baby, I guess, well, I guess babies. Great, I'm killing babies. 
But basically these baby forms aren't really what you'd call hostile. They're just kind of there. And there's this. That is where I would like to go, but I have no way of getting there. I don't, like, there's no enemy for me to bounce off of, so I, I'm assuming there's some type of double jump at some point. Yeah, that was another enemy type who, a lot of these enemies just use like a charge of some kind. So far, there isn't like a whole lot of variety in that regard. Ow. Oh, and, uh, you know, we're going to wrap this up with one more NPC. I don't know if this guy actually does anything, but he doesn't act like it. Ah, work, you oof. You wield your nail like a club. Is me. How much deeper do we have to go? Huh? What? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you do return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Oh. oh hello. You're exploring these old ruins then? Very brave. Plenty of courageous explorers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell uh, just by looking at you that you know how to wield it. Oh, Explo uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, I wonder if he's... Huh. Dirt mouth. Let's go up. Uh, I, I, there's a shortcut to get back there, so I'm actually going to go see about that. Because I actually, like I said, oh, right, I can't go this way. I uh, skip dialogue specifically for this reason. And now I'm kind of curious about that. So, you know what? It's not quite an hour. It's not an hour yet, so let's go. I... Uh, I don't like this particular th event that goes on right now here. Though that does simplify the matter a lot. Yeah, I don't like those things. In case you're wondering. I don't. Wait. Uh, this is not where I thought I was. Okay, well, we can still get there, but it'll just be a little bit more of a trip. Actually, you know, we could get there. Ah. Sorry, uh, I wish I could. there was a, a map icon, if nothing else, for you all. Because I don't know if you guys can tell where I'm at. I could probably get back there just as quickly either way. Oh yeah, yeah. this, this. That was fun the first time I did it. <laughs> like you can control your jump height by how quickly you let, how long you hold on to the button. That's quite normal in most games these days. Ow. You, yeah, these guys are the first, like, enemy that really have some sort of strategy you really need to pay attention to. You have to strike them once, and then you can get them from behind. But once again, most enemies do follow the rule of three, which has been a video game staple for a long time. And this is our first enemy that has wielded a weapon. Which is quite interesting, if you ask me. Like, we haven't encountered anyone that wields weapons before. Alright. Oh, 
Oh yeah, remember this? Boom, that shortcut from before. We can actually use this to get back up top because I think that is where he said he went. So we're here, so we just need to go to... Th ah, darn it. Just need to go to the right and then just go up. Like I said, there's a lot of backtracking. There is a uh, fast, si there's a system for going fast in areas, but uh, we can it was kind of, it was below us. It could have probably got us there faster, but eh. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Dirt mouth. Uh, I don't have all the names of places figured out yet. This game, I, I assume speedrunners are probably going to have this thing down pretty quick. Besides boss battles, most enemy encounters can be dealt with fairly quickly, actually. Okay, this is the Temple of the Black Egg. There isn't anyone else here. He's still here, though. And there's those weird three mask things, but he looks like he's wearing one of those masks. I don't know if we need to get that from him and use it on that, but I, I suspect we'll find out later. Look, there's those masks again. Hmm. I'm actually quite interested in that, uh, a lot of the stuff. Okay, uh... Let's go up. Ascend. There's that rude guy. Okay, yeah, this is dirt mouth. So where's our new little friend? Let me take a rest. Oh, this door wasn't open before. This is actually all new to me. I really didn't know that. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little st store? Yes. I made myself pretty comfortable here selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. Except, uh, I'm not quite ready for business just yet. There's still a bit of preparation to do. I'm sure you understand. For now, I'll just have to say thank you. I look forward to doing business with you when the time comes. Probably just because this is the beta. But I bet you I can buy new nails from him. Because I don't have any type of inventory screen. Pushing start just gives me the continue and the main menu options. So I bet you in the full game when there's probably some type of inventory screen, I can't. This I don't know if I'll have to wait. I that's one of the things I want to. I'm definitely gonna go. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm getting overly excited and just ah gushing. As soon as this game comes out, one of the, I'm gonna go rush to help him, probably. Like I'm, I'm still gonna actually go for the full playthrough, but I'm gonna rush to get him up here, because if I can get a better nail from him. That will make things a lot better. Like, I don't even care if it's just a little bit stronger. Even if it takes me uh, two less hits to kill something. Alright, but, uh, you know what? We've explored a good amount of the area. Well, not a good amount. There's still a lot to explore, and this is just the starting area, really. So, what we're gonna do, set here. There's even a little animation for opening the map while you're on the bench. That's adorable to me. Uh, we will continue this whenever this, the game comes out. I believe it will be out in November, December, because it said uh, quarter four of uh, 2015. So either November or December, I believe. I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere it said November, but don't quote me on that. I really like this game. Like, just this atmosphere. Like, listen to that music for a second. I know I've been talking this whole time, but... Oh, these just soft tones. I love those. And I want to thank you all for joining me on this adventure because I look forward to when this game comes out. And I hope to share it with everyone, you know, all the people on my channel. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This actually should go up the same day I recorded it. <laughs> it's, well, night time, but yeah. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a good rest of your day. This is Aaron. And the Hollow Knight. Signing out. Bye. He looks like he's about to fall asleep. It's adorable. <laughs>